Thank you for the organizing, for the, letting me present the study. I am from Israel, from Diabetes Unit at the Wolfson Medical Center at Tel Aviv University. Uh, we will speak uh, specifically about the impact of whey protein on the uh, reduction of postprandial hyperglycemia weight loss in hemoglobin A1C. Nothing to disclose. We know that postprandial hyperglycemia has strong uh, correlation with cardiovascular risk in type 2 diabetes. Because of this, this is a major target in the management of type 2 diabetes. We know that uh, postprandial hyperglycemia is controlled by the clock gene system, specifically the clock gene in the beta cells and the skeletal muscle, which is synchronized by the meal timing. Indeed, the postprandial glucose is higher and more prolonged after identical meals at, at uh, night than in the evening, in the morning. Uh, consequently, we have several studies that show that the breakfast diet uh, with high protein breakfast, namely soy, tuna, eggs, with reduced dinner, decrease postprandial hyperglycemia in obese and type 2 diabetes, and decrease hemoglobin A1C and body weight. However, uh, uh, this is against uh, the the meal schedule inverse with small breakfast and big dinner. However, uh, recently there are reports that show that whey protein has greater lowering effect on postprandial hyperglycemia than other sources of protein. Therefore, we, we make the study to set the impact of whey protein against other protein on weight loss, postprandial hyperglycemia, and we have here Three diets isocaloric with the same schedule like big breakfast with high caloric breakfast, medium sized lunch and small dinner. The, the, the lunch and dinner were similar in the three diets. The, the only difference was in the amount of protein and, and quality of protein in the breakfast. One was the whey breakfast diet with 42 grams of protein mainly from whey, the other protein breakfast diet with 49 grams protein, mainly from soya, tuna, eggs. And the other, the control diet was carbohydrate diet with low protein, 70 gram protein, with uh, also with other proteins. The weight loss, as you can see here in green, the, the weight loss was significantly greater in the whey breakfast diet. The hemoglobin A1C was significantly more reduced in the whey breakfast diet against the other diets. The overall glycemia, the postprandial glycemia after breakfast, lunch, and dinner was significantly lower in green in the whey breakfast diet. And look, the peak of the glucose was significantly lower after the breakfast with added whey protein. Similarly, insulin and C-peptide was significantly increased along the day in the whey breakfast diet, and, uh, and overall IGF, IG, uh, GLP-1 in association with satiety was significantly higher in the whey breakfast diet. Uh, in, contrary, in contrast, the ghrelin and hunger were significantly more suppressed in the whey breakfast diet. There are several mechanisms that can explain this. Whey protein uh, uh, can work through rapid absorbent insulinogenic amino acids that stimulate beta cell production of insulin. The other mechanism is the increase of secretion of GLP-1 and L cells, which has the incredible effect. And the other mechanism is a deep of DPP4 activity that reduced the degradation of the GLP-1. The other mechanism that was recently shown that the whey protein increased the translocation of GLUT4 to the membrane of the muscle, which increased the glucose uptake and glucogen storage. And finally, whey protein via GLP-1 that is known 
that is a, a resetting factor of the clock genes. It, it may enhance the overall postprandial hyperglycemia uh, through uh, uh, the synchronizing, synchronizing the clock genes of the beta cell and skeletal muscle. In conclusion, whey protein has a great Im greater impact than other proteins on weight loss, hemoglobin A1C, and postprandial hyperglycemia in type 2 diabetes. Whey protein should be considered an important adjuvant in the management of the type 2 diabetes. This is my team. Uh, some of them are from Tel Aviv University, some from uh, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, and Boaren from Sweden, and thank you very much.
42 years, uh, no, no, uh, 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 excuse me, 58 years average, and the diabetes was about 10 years uh, duration in this patient. So this is a study in this patient. We, we have to see in other patients how it works. Okay. Next question. I think we'll make that the last question before we proceed. Yeah, this is my turn now. Yeah. Okay, Ali Ali Asari, uh, University of Rutgers University, in the State University of New Jersey. Uh, actually, um, I like this study, and uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice talk. And also, uh, as you know, uh, we have the different kind of GLUT, like uh, GLUT4 and GLUT2 and S GLUT. So, my question is. Have you done another study to, to see the effect of white protein on the renal excretion of glucose? I mean, you, you measured the urine glucose? The thing is that for me, for, for me, no, for diabetologists and for postprandial hyperglycemia, what is important is GLUT4, because GLUT4 is, it is which works more in the muscle. So, and we didn't measure the GLUT4, uh, just there is a study, a new study in, in rats that showed that uh, uh, leucine and, and the peptide is so leucine, leucine from the whey acts directly for, on the phosphorylation of AKT in the, in the muscle, and it, it, it improved the translocation of the GLUT4 from the inside to the membrane, and it makes the glucose, glucose storage and glucose uptake, which is directly correlated with improvement of postprandial hyperglycemia. So you concluded the effect of white protein by uh, increase, increase the uh, insulin in the secretion and increase the glucagon? I mean, have you measured the insulin? I think that uh, we, we already measured glucagon here, but it's a bit confused, but there, is, there was a suppression against other proteins, which uh -huh. is very impressive. But, uh, uh, but probably because uh, uh, whey protein has a potent eff effect on GLP-1, and like GLP-1 injection, probably it makes de uh, a decreased reduction of glucagon, and it can be part of the, of the improvement of postprandial hyperglycemia. Right, to be sure, you have not looked at urine glucose to see whether whey protein induces glycosuria, have you? That was one of the questions he had. Have you checked glucose in the urine? Does whey protein push glucose out of the body through the urine? Like SGLT2 inhibitor effect? No, but I don't know. Okay, thank you.